Bravo's Below Deck is one franchise that's known for explosive drama in nearly every season. With the original iteration of the show having premiered in 2013, there has consistently been some version of Below Deck on the air for the last decade. Though each Below Deck spin-off has its own set of cast members, they do overlap from time to time and cause drama on other crews. With the show moving past its 10th season this year, it's clear that the series and its various spin-offs are stirring up enough drama to stay the course. While many seasons of the shows are known for their drama between crew members, others sometimes offer less real drama, which can be boring sometimes for the viewer. Even some seasons that do offer drama can be unappealing if the stories feel forced or convoluted. Generally, the most intriguing Below Deck seasons have a cast with natural chemistry or animosity, interesting guests that can sometimes be difficult, and a central conflict that moves throughout the season. With many seasons serving explosive drama, Below Deck has some seasons that stand out from the rest. 5 Below Deck Season 10 with the series reaching a 10th season. Below Deck was sure to serve some drama when the season started with Captain Lee Rosvick taking leave. The captain, who had to leave the charter to deal with a medical situation, wound up leaving Captain Sandy Yan from Below Deck Mediterranean in charge. Though Captain Lee was trusting of Captain Sandy, the two have very different styles when it comes to managing their crew. This made for some major drama early in the season, when employees who were prepared for Captain Lee's style had to adjust their expectations to deal with the micromanagement of Captain Sandy. While the season was lighter on hookups than some others, it certainly wasn't light on drama. The focal point of the issues throughout the season was crew member Camille Lamb, who was a new cast member for Below Deck Season 10. Though Camille seemed to have the best intentions, her work ethic left a lot to be desired. She was reprimanded for her behavior consistently, especially by Alyssa Humber, and ultimately they got into a few huge fights before Camille was fired from the crew. She left midway through Below Deck Season 10, but the drama from her firing reverberated through the rest of the season. 4 Below Deck Season 6 While Below Deck Season 6 does not go down in the history books as the most interesting, it had its fair share of drama. The crew during that season was partially new, including stewardess Caroline Bedall, who worked with Kate Chastain and Josiah Carter as the third stew. Caroline had some yachting experience and seemed like she would be a good crew member, especially on the series but she wound up being incredibly difficult to work with. After several issues between Caroline and Kate, the third stew decided to quit mid-charter season, much to the relief of her co-workers. Below Deck Season 6 also had a few incredibly difficult moments, one of which included crewmate Ashton Pinar getting into a very serious accident. Though Ashton was not exactly likable during Below Deck Season 6, the accident did manage to gain him some sympathy. Ashton, who was out on his first charter season, made a mistake and got caught up in the line on the yacht, which caused him to be thrown from the boat and nearly drowned. Although he was okay, seeing Ashton's accident caught on camera was an unforgettable moment for the series. 3 Below Deck Sailing Yacht Season 2 Below Deck Sailing Yacht is one of the Below Deck franchise spin-offs. It follows the charters of Captain Glenn Shepard and his crew as they serve guests on a 177FT sailing yacht. While the spin-off is not as successful as others, it does tend to be rife with drama. The season brought an immense amount of drama 
specifically when it came to Jean-Luc Serza Leno and Donnie Soares, who were romantically involved during their charter season. With the entirety of the cast comprised of singles during the season, the hookups were frequent and made for some incredible drama within the crew for the duration of the season. Some of the biggest drama from Below Deck Selling Yacht Season 2 happened after the season. Donnie, who got pregnant during the charter season, and Jean-Luc had to deal with drama surrounding the paternity of their daughter. Donnie seemed to be keeping quiet, and during the reunion, Jean-Luc explained that he was uncertain if Donnie's baby was his but wanted to know so that he wouldn't be in danger of abandoning his potential child. It was ultimately resolved privately that Donnie's daughter was fathered by Jean-Luc. However, the drama it created on the series was unmatched. 2 Below Deck Season 7 While it can be somewhat difficult to watch, the season packs some of the most dramatic moments into Below Deck history all into one place. The crew of Below Deck Season 7 had an incredibly difficult time getting along with one another which caused a huge amount of drama during the day-to-day -day work. The epicenter of the season's drama came from Ashton again, who rejoined the crew after his accident in Below Deck Season 6. Ashton's behavior throughout the season was difficult, especially when he was drinking. One of the most explosive moments of the season caused a huge ripple effect when Ashton was drunk and punched out a window of the van carrying the crew members home for the night. Though it was unclear what set Ashton off, he was in the midst of a confrontation with Kate, who he later apologized to for the altercation. Ashton had several moments throughout the season where his drinking became too much for the rest of the crew to handle and it led to some drama throughout the charter season. One Below Deck Season 3 One of the most dramatic seasons of the series, Below Deck Season 3, had a lot of drama and kept viewers coming back to re-watch it years after its initial airing. Throughout the season, the crew struggled with their own dynamics, from the attraction between Chef Ben Robinson and Kate to the secret relationship between Raquel Rocky Dakota and Eddie Lucas, things were consistently messy on the yacht. Though it was a successful charter season for the crew, the interpersonal dynamics at play shaped the season. Below Deck Season 3 is often revisited for re-watches because of the relationship between Rocky and Eddie who were trying to keep their romance a secret from the rest of the crew for professionalism, but also because Eddie was already in a relationship. Unfortunately for the couple, they were caught by the cameras, and wound up getting outed by Bravo, though Eddie had already admitted his indiscretions to his girlfriend. Below Deck Season 3 had other moments of drama, but the boatmen's definitely stole the show. Yeah.